friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm David. We have a lot of work today because this is the final saga of our Monster C-47 and our Waco Glider. What are we gonna be doing today? Um, yeah, she's been through a lot, but we've got one more challenge for her still. Yes, now in World War II, there was an epic thing where they actually snagged Waco Gliders with the C-47 and pulled them into the air quickly. We're gonna be trying to recreate that, but along with that, our good friend Nate and Mark from the King of Random are coming out. Nate's never flown FPV, he's never flown an airplane, he's definitely never flown a glider tug or FPV cockpit. We're gonna to try to get this glider snag and also get him behind the seat of our FPV chair Yeah, and see what happens. Let's get him flying. We got a lot of work to do. So Michael went ahead and checked the history on how this all worked. Um, we were wondering about the idea of, you know, the sudden shock load on the airplane, what that was gonna to do to both the C-47 and the Monster Waco. And you found out they had a different setup, didn't you? Yes, they originally had a wench, which had a braking system in it until it got to like a certain length. So like for them, it was like 800 feet and then it would fully break and then it would pull the plane along after the airspeed of the plane was brought up. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're coming through all these complicated ideas. I was thinking of taking like a, a brushless motor and then touching the three wires together, which gives like an active braking, uh, but also it could give you a killer spark. And David, you had a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my thought was uh, fishing poles, they have built-in drag that you use um, by just adjusting a knob. So I asked Michael about it. He said, I'll run home and get a fishing rod. So I think what we need to do next is get the tiller release mechanism on the glider, and then we'll grab a golf cart, and we'll unwind some uh, line, and then we'll go as fast as we can next to the glider, get a shock load, and see how it behaves. So basically we put the tow release inside the plane, hooked it up to the throttle like we did on the glider tow originally with a small one. And then I was just slowly moving the drag until I found where it sat about right. And now whenever I yank real hard, it doesn't move, but if I go nice and slow, it will move. We're ready for a golf cart ride and some fun. I know, dude, I've been, I've been watching this thing, waiting to just get clocked with it. Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So I practice my ninja skills. All right, so the goal is simple, right? We're going to extend the line. Uh, you guys are going to have slack, and it's going to be like a snag tail on the ground, right? Yeah, just uh, go as fast as we can and see what happens. How much line do you think we need to run out to get the, the golf cart to full speed? Uh, 20 feet, 30 feet. 20, 30 feet, okay. It, cool. it gets up there pretty quick, don't it? Probably, yeah. All right, so, and we're gonna tow that way. All right, let's uh, let's position things. Dang. So we got Stefan and David on the golf cart. They're gonna be simulating the C-47 flying over and snagging. Uh, we kind of played around, kind of set the tension, right? Yes, yeah, so we were running up and down the runway, seeing where it like, pulled the plane the least, but also yeah, got it up to speed. So they're gonna race up to maximum speed. Hopefully I won't crash it and we'll see how this drag works. Alright. Ready? Right. I think so. Are you ready, Noah? Yep. Alright, we'll All get right. the uh Hold on. Yeah dude. Just roll back up. No, I'm moving! That's embarrassing. I think we should stop. <laughs> we need to tighten up more. Okay, Maybe so Maybe a that little was a bit more link. tension. Yeah, more, more tension. tension. <laughs> like. All right, round one, not so good. Round two added just a touch more tension. All right, you guys ready? Think so. In three, two, one, and go. Keep going, keep yeah, going. Not enough All right, speed. Well, I think that's a success. All right, so the golf cart just didn't have to go to get it in the air here, but the drag system seemed to work better. Yes, we upped the drag a little bit and it seems yeah. to slowly get working better once we got up to yeah. speed, so. So we're gonna step this up a notch. We have Noah on the go-kart. We couldn't figure out how in the world we're gonna get two people on his little motorbike. So Stefan is now gonna be the B-cam. Noah's gonna pull it while holding the string with the other hand. I mean, nothing, nothing wrong here. It'll be fine. All right, you ready? Ready to go? Yes. All right. Round the lot. Ready? Yes! yes! That's awesome! We'll find out real quick. I love it! Great job, Dude, it looks awesome, Jelly! 
I love it. That that's perfect. perfect. That's perfect. Well, that's the setting. I think what we should do is like mark that with like a white line, right? Yes. So it doesn't get turned. And then uh, I think we're ready to put on the C forty seven. Let's do it. All right. So we learned a lot with these tests here. And what we also have to do now is we have to make sure that we brace the C47 so it can handle the shock load. So what Dave's working on right now is he's gonna be putting a carbon fiber tube all the way from the tail up towards the nose of the airplane. And what this is gonna enable us to do is be able to put a winch system on the nose of the airplane to be able to retract the wire in, but also let it spool out. And while he's working on that, I wanna thank our sponsor, NordVPN. So if you guys know me, you know that I love simplicity and NordVPN does too. NordVPN offers simple, easy to use, one click protection, or or you can enable auto click, which means you have zero clicks to be protected by NordVPN. And not only is NordVPN easy to use, but it also has amazing speed. Speed tests have confirmed that NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. So one of the biggest issues we had with our content here at Flight Test until we got our high speed internet was internet throttling. Internet throttling is simply when you use too much data, they throttle down your data and throttle down your speed. Now for a company like ours, that is a really big problem. With NordVPN, all internet activity is encrypted, so data is not throttled. Now, if you guys are like me, you have iPhones, you have tablets, you have TVs, all those that you want protection with. NordVPN can work on six different devices. The one thing I love about NordVPN is the protection. One time I was at an airport traveling and I had to get on the internet at the airport to make a purchase that was time sensitive. That was a huge mistake because although I saved a little bit of time by making that purchase before I got on the airplane, I also had my credit card hacked. This caused me a tremendous amount of trouble and if I had a service like NordVPN, it simply would not have happened. Now, oftentimes different content is allowed in different areas. NordVPN gives you the ability to watch content, like maybe flight tests, in any area, even if things like YouTube are restricted. You're even able to find streaming platforms at a lower price. All it takes is simply one click, you open up the map, you click on the location, and you'll be connected in seconds. It's simply that easy. Now we want to thank you guys for being part of the Flight Test family and we also want to be able to give back with our sponsors. If you go to nordvpn.com slash flight test, you can get a two year plan plus four additional months with a huge discount. It's because of you guys and also sponsors like NordVPN that we're able to do this content and also tow big crazy gliders up in the air. Speaking of which, Dave's just about done with that tail. We got work to do. All right, so what are you doing, Dave? Um, I'm putting a, a fishing reel in an airplane. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of a different <laughs> scenario here. <laughs> That's perfect. But it already has drag set up and everything in it. It saved a bunch of work from. I mean, yeah. And, and what happens when you have to reset? Um, you just wind it in. <laughs> <laughs> so while Dave is working on the winch setup, I'm going to be working on the hook mechanism. Now this is the same hook mechanism that we use in our baby rescue snag episode. Now that episode didn't go so well at the very end, but it actually hooked the wire incredibly well. So we're gonna go ahead and take that hook mechanism and build it again. I'm only gonna be using one of these hooks because I don't wanna snag into anything else. And also we're gonna have a much hopefully easier setup to hit than before when we did that episode previously. All right, so the time is now. We got our friends from the King of Random here. If you haven't seen a bunch of other collaborations that we've done with them, we've done Harry Potter. Uh, we dropped a giant 10 foot fruit by the football that they sent us. And we got a couple other things that are coming up in the future. But now we got to go out and try to snag this Waco with the C47. And if it goes well or not so well, who knows? We're actually going to have a little surprise for Nate uh, if everything goes the way we planned. So, you ready to do this? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to happening. So we're gonna be doing this FPV just like we did in the past because it's such an awesome view. But also, Nate doesn't know this. If this works out good, we have our FPV simulator chair. He's never flown once in his life. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out really quick, reset, put him in the cockpit, and see how well he does with his first flight, first glider tow, and first FPV. Okay, we're getting ready to do our first uh, glider tow test here. And I just put my 10,000 uh, tattoo battery in, and let's do it. All right, so my son Michael is flying the chase cam. You ready for this, guys? I hope this thing flies Let's as good as it did in the last episode. <laughs> we'll find out real quick. Oh, uh, yes! Perfect. All right. She's perfect. Go ahead and take positions, guys. All right, Nate. Let's go. I'm going to go way out. The one's on the road. Can you try right out? Yep. Okay. Right down EcoFlow runway here. Oh, that part's too loud. Oh, oh, there we oh, go. We got it. We got it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? No. 
line broke. Yeah, the line broke. No out. way. It's on the airplane. All right, so uh, we've had a lot of problems with this green filament line. I think it's just too rotted out. I think we just go simple. We're gonna go ahead and put thicker string in here. The problem is, is a fishing rod or fishing reel is not made for bigger string. So we'll see if this even fits. We'll get creative if we have to. But I think this at least is not gonna break. At this point, I don't care if it drags the plane down. We're not letting go once we grab on. All right, <laughs> the sun's out, the wind's out. We're ready for round two. All right, are we good on the camera here? Yep, we're on it. All right, we're going in position. All right, I'm gonna muscle this thing in the air because the wind's Ooh, not helping us now. It's flopping around pretty good up there. It is. Now. I think we got some really good thermals. All right, swooping in. All right, I'm ready. Oh no. Um, the airplane just spun around. <laughs> I'm pointing the wrong way down the runway now. Curse you, thermal! Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, that was too loud. All right. All right. Okay. You ready, guys? Yep. Swoop it in. Right, here we go. How am I on the runway, guys? Uh, you're headed a little bit toward me, but stabilizing. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. Good snake. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! It broke something. This time, yeah, it broke it at, at, at this plane. plane. Too much jerk. <laughs> wow. Another good snag, though. Yeah, great snag. Great flying. Man, just imagine the people had to test this, what they were going through. <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine yeah. the poor pilot in the Waka. We're doing this remote. Yeah, no, thank you. Don't go down the hill. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, so good. <laughs> we go, we go, yeah. Oh, it broke the plywood and everything. Yeah, how, was, how was it attached? Not good enough, apparently. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, that is a, that's a new one. Yeah. So typically we don't have that issue. Oh, I love it when things go good. I don't know what to say other than that was awesome. Now the wind's going the right way. We're gonna have to do a little bit of redesign, I think. I think we I think you're right. I think you're definitely right. So what are you doing, Dave? Okay, so on our glider toe, we ran into a couple of weak links. We're getting rid of those weak links by making a grappling hook that's made out of metal rather than plywood. And we're also going to stiffen up our release mechanism a little bit so it don't break anymore. And yeah, we should be good. Well, three tries? Yeah, uh, maybe four. I, I'm not too sure. We stopped counting in dismay. But you know what? The weather rolled in. It got rough, but it gave us time to regroup. You made an awesome new hook. Yeah, um, we went from this little guy here to this guy here. Should have a little bit more strength, so hopefully it don't break again. Yep. We also reinforced our toe latch and we came up with a better system to hopefully kind of get a slower snag and also increase the drag on our fishing reel. So all in all, we should be in pretty good shape for round two. And on top of that, we added even more friends, mainly that guy. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Let's go. So it is evening. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's D-Day. Yeah, it is D-Day. <laughs> we missed our weather window, but you know what? We were blessed with a beautiful evening here. We're gonna give this one final round. This is our last shot. Whatever happens, happens. We got a metal hook. We got reinforced everything. Something's gonna happen. All or nothing. Love All it. Right, you ready to dry it? Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Taking off. Yeah, it's definitely hanging that lower. That hook is definitely hanging lower. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, I'm ready. Why am I more nervous now than I was earlier today in all that I'm wind? I'm feeling it too. <laughs> yeah, holy cow. All right, guys, here we go. This is the one. Hook it. Oh, it broke the launch thing again. It was so close that time. Are you time. serious? It ripped the whole front end out. All right, guys, we're going for plan B. We cannot have our friend Nate go home without a glider tow. We're gonna revisit this glider launch snag tow, but first we're gonna put Nate in the cockpit, 
have him fly this thing and we'll do a conventional this time and uh we got to make this a reality bud yeah yeah Now the way I have you set up is through something called the FT Aura 5. That is a training board, okay? So it's going to make the flight experience really good. Otherwise, we wouldn't put you through this right off the bat. Because uh, that would ruin the plane. Huh? Because that would destroy it. We can always build another one. Don't worry about uh. that. So you're mainly going to worry about the controls here going up, down, yep. right, and left. This is going to be your glider release because there's no motor. This is actually going to release your glider. So when I say give me full throttle, that releases your glider. All right? Okay. So put your hand on there. Full throttle feels like that. Yep. Close throttle feels like that. Perfect. If I say pull up, what are you going to do? All right, push forward. That's down, right, and left. And just like your motions and stuff, that's about all you need. I'm going to tow you as high as I possibly can. We're going to get you nice and going. Now, you're going to be looking through the cockpit, too. So right. you're not going to have to worry about orientation or anything. You're going to be fully immersed. So you ready to do this? Sure. If everything works out, no, don't worry. We're going to have someone on the buddy box. If you get in trouble, someone can override your controls. Oh, that's good out. to know. Yeah, so you're good. But our goal is not to have that happen. I want you to solo this thing. All right. We'll see. All right, we're going to bind you up here, bud. Ha-ha! <laughs> it's going to get real, bud. You ready, bud? Yep. All right, so Dave has you in there. Just remember, don't touch the throttle yeah, until... Uh, nothing, nothing until you say. You Full throttle, it. I'll push forward, and that releases the glider. You got it. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm moving. It's weird. Yes! <laughs> it's about time! <laughs> How's it look? Uh, it looks great. I see the horizon. We're now banking away so I can't really see the sunset, but I can see everything else. We're going to get you back to that sunset in a That's second. That's alright. You take me wherever. Give me some altitude. Man, oh man, look how perfect that's towing! Wow. We're going to get you nice and high, brother. Love it. Oh, okay, release. Release? Okay. All right, there All it goes. Way. Okay, you're in control. All right. A little neutral bit of Neutral nice stick. And, nice and smooth. Neutral stick. There you go. She should fly good for you. Okay. <laughs> Turn right with the stick. Turning slowly. <laughs> a little, awesome. a little more turning. really far away from us. All the way right. There you go. Okay. Straighten up. There you go. Now you're coming right back towards us. <laughs> this is awesome! Ah, you see us? I see the tent, yes. Keep flying towards the tent, brother. Great job. That was the best tow we've ever had. Now great. you can actually turn towards the clouds and get that beautiful sunset if you want. I can see sunset. How's it look to you, man? It looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so there's something about an FPV chair that makes everything make sense for new pilots. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, the drone flew over and the downdraft from it Hit actually, <laughs> I wobbled a little bit from that. So am I, am I basically trying to do a straight approach to this or? So yeah, what we're gonna do is have you come over. We're gonna do a long 360 to your landing, okay? So just keep on heading that heading. You can actually kind of head back towards us a little bit. Yeah, a little bit left. I mean, I'm not doing that. It's just doing it on its own. That's fine, a little more left. It's beautiful. It's amazing what little input you need to be able to fly, huh? Yeah. Okay, center. Yeah. That thing looks just like a scale Waco too. It is just soaring up there. Oh my goodness. All right. So now, am I, am I going to go down like over the empty yep, field you're go down a little bit and further, then come back? Oh, you're doing fantastic. All right. Get ready to hook your left. Left now. Hold your left. Hold your left. Hold your left. Center. Plug. All right. Keep your, keep your stick nice and center. You're doing fantastic. Oh, perfect. Center stick. Keep your wings level. All the way back yeah. for a flare, and that was awesome! Oh, great job! <laughs> All right. Well, I, uh, your wings. you know, I want to give him five, but he can't see me because he's flying. I missed that the, awesome. missed the runway, job. but landed the plane without crashing it. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Man, if we could have got that snag though. Yeah. But all in all, this is the first time the big C-47 towed up the Waco. What an amazing experience. It's Absolutely perfect. It was perfect. That was neat. Right. So friends, thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Nate, Mark from King of Random, thank you guys for making the trip out here. Thank you for having me. This is fantastic. What a fun <laughs> thing to try. <laughs> All right, guys. This is a fixture. This is something we want you guys to be able to eventually come out and partake on. We love having memories with good friends and also with you guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe bell. Also, make sure you check out the events, edgewaterairpark.com, because we have events here during flying season every single month. We want to make a memory with you. And uh, leave in the comments down below what kind of collaborations you'd like to see us do. See you next time. See you next time.